Hi everyone, this is Prashant from Infinity Classes and today we are going to learn a new topic, a new thing in ordinary differential equation which is Ranga Gutta method. Okay, so this method is after Euler's method. Okay, so uh, in ordinary differential equation we have discussed three methods and this is one of the method. Okay, Ranga Gutta method. This is also similar to Euler's method where we have to write the formula and we have to put all the values inside the formula and we will get the answer. It is same as that but uh, it is quite different in other form like it has 4k values and it is a fourth order that's why it has 4k values and it has a y value to calculate and then after calculating this delta y value we have to put this delta y value uh, in this form and then we will get our answer okay so it is uh, quite lengthy but it is quite similar to that of Euler's method because we have a formula in Euler's method where we have to write uh, where we have to put the values over there and we will get the answer. It is quite similar to that but it has a big formula over here. Okay, So uh, it is it is similar to Euler's method over here if we remember k1 we can remember all the formulas. Okay, So do remember k1. What is k1? k1 is, is equal to h into f of x0 y0. Simple. h into f of x0 y0. Okay, Now what is k2? K2 is the first part is the same, second part with x0 we will add h by 2 and with y0 we will add k1 by 2, simple. For K3 with uh, x0 we will add h by 2, same as K2 and with uh, y we will add k2 by 2, the, just the previous one, okay. Now for K4 we will add just h and K3, okay, nothing else. So this is similar, if we know this one we can write this 3 also okay and what is delta y delta y is 1 by 6th of k1 plus k4 twice of k2 plus k3 which is i have written like this okay and then we have to write yn which is what we have to calculate and y n minus 1 just the previous interval gap value okay now what is the previous interval gap value over here I have to find y x of 1.2 which is I have to find y of 1.2 okay so just the previous interval gap is 0 0.2 just the previous interval gap is y of 1 which is 2 so I'll write 2 over here okay and delta y will derive from the, uh, will take the value from this equation and then after adding this we will get y of n which is y of 1.2 okay now First of all, what we know over here, we have dy dx equals to xy, there is a formula, dy dx equals to xy, this is an equation, sorry. Now, and we have provided, uh, we have been provided with y1 equals to 2, which means y is equal to 2 when x is equal to 1, okay. And what we have to find, x of 1.2, which means we have to find y with x is equal to 1.2, okay, with an interval gap of 0.2. Now I have written this thing in fx form, okay, now if I write x0 over here, y0 over here, it will be 0 and 0. So for simplicity, we have taken x, y, okay, okay, x and y. So this is, our, this is our equation and this thing I have written over here like this and we have to find this I have written over here. And what is h? h is 0 0.2 which is I have written over here. Now I will take these values, simply I will take these two values and put in my equation to get the value of k1 okay now h of h is given over here 0 0.2 and uh, x0 y0 f of x0 y0 means if i put x0 and y0 over here it will be same x0 y0 so x into y what is x0 1 what is y0 2 1 into 2 is 2 okay so 0 0.2 is into 1 uh, 2 is 0 0.4 so for k1 my value is 0 0.4 okay over here x0 is 1 y0 is 2 now for k2, don't confuse yourself with this part, okay. This part is totally x and this part is totally y, which means in place of x, I'll put this value, this total value and in place of y, I'll put this total value, okay. Now, x is, h is 0 0.2, x0 plus h by 2, which means we have x0 is equal to this thing, total, x0 plus h by 2, means this is my x0 portion. And this is my y0 portion. And there is a multiplication between them. So x0 is 0 0.2 by 2. 
what is h 0.2 divided by 2 and what is k1 0.4 divided by 2 and y0 is 2 after doing this we will get k2 is equal to 0.484 okay now coming to k3 k3 is similar what i have said x0 plus h by 2 and on that side y0 plus k2 by 2 okay because we are calculating k3 we will take k2 over here okay so k2 by 2 so this and this after doing the calculation we will get 0 0.49324 okay now calculating k4 k4 is the same way we have to calculate the k4 also we have calculated k4 and what we have got we have got a value of 0 0.59837 okay similar so what we have we have k1 k2 k3 and k4 okay now we have calculated this four this one this one this one and this one okay now what i have to do i have to calculate delta y because why, what do i have to find uh, at last we have to find y of 1.2 which means i have to calculate delta y which i need to put in this equation to get y of 1.2 okay so what is delta y delta y is a combination of k1 plus k4 uh, into uh, plus twice of k2 plus k3 whole divided by 6 okay so, what I have done, I have taken delta y equal to 1 by 6 plus 0 0.4 into the total values what we have got from k1, k2, k3 and k4. Okay, and what we have got, we have got 0 0.49214. 0 0.49214. These values I basically get from calculator. You can also calculate on uh, your calculator and you will get this value. Okay, so I have got this value. Now, what will I do? I will take this value and put in in this equation. Like... What I know is, I have to calculate yn, which is y of 1.2. And what I know is y of n minus 1. What is y of n minus 1? Just the previous interval gap, which is 1.2 minus 0 0.2 is 1. So y of 1 is 2. Simple. And delta y. Delta y is plus 0 0.49. 214 what will i get 2. Point, uh, sorry 2.49214 so this is my answer for this equation okay now we are calculating for y of 1.2 okay now this is a task to calculate y of 1.4 okay which is uh, with an h of 0 0.2 and uh, over here uh, we know actually why, what we know from uh, if if we have to calculate this thing, what we have to know, we have to know y of 1.2 because the interval gap is 0.2. That's why we have to know y of 1.2, which is 2.49214. 2.49214. Uh, okay, this means x is equals to 1.2 and y is e x1 equals to 1.2 and y1 equals to 2.49214 and now from this we have to calculate y of 1.4 okay uh, so by this way we can calculate ranga gupta method of fourth order okay of fourth order so this comes under ordinary differential equation thanks everyone for liking our videos if you have any queries just comment down below and do share this video with your friends thank you